Hello, today we are proud to present the new features in Magic Draw 18. No Magic had several goals for version 18. The highest priority was to integrate Magic Draw with the new Cameo Enterprise Data Warehouse, or CEDW. Cameo Enterprise Data Warehouse is completely new server technology. It allows access to model elements directly without having to load an entire project into memory. Version 18 introduces the Cameo Requirements Modeler plugin, which provides basic requirements management. We introduce glossary support to manage domain and project terminology with traceability. Metrics can now be described using models and tracked over time. We also invested a lot of effort improving Magic Draw performance. As a result, several modeling tasks are now automated, and most functions are much faster. Version 18 supports the latest version of UML, version 2.5. There are several other en enhancements, including the ability to view inherited elements, support for common scripting languages for tasks that used to require specialized languages, and support for working with instances more efficiently. The new server technology is not yet publicly available, but if you're interested in trying it and you're willing to share your feedback, please let us know, and we will provide you with the links for downloading and installing the files. The primary benefit of the new server technology is the ability to operate at the element level. That is, Cameo Enterprise Data Warehouse will support lazy loading to minimize memory use and improve performance. Lazy loading means that Magic Draw will only load the elements you need instead of loading the entire project. When you commit changes, only the changed elements are sent to the server instead of the entire model. The same holds true for the update function. When you update your project, Magic Draw will only load changed elements from the server to the client. Consequently, these operations become very fast. In addition, Cameo Enterprise Data Warehouse will use a role-based access control permission system. So permissions may be assigned to roles instead of just individuals. The first commercial version of the Enterprise Data Warehouse will be available in version 18.1 of the, our products. Now let's examine the new Cameo Requirements Modeler plugin. The Cameo Requirements Modeler plugin supports model-based requirements management. It's primarily intended for software engineers, but may also help other engineers. Yes, software engineers already had some support for requirements in Magic Draw. In UML, they had use case diagrams, activities, and sequence diagrams for capturing the primary, alternative, and exception scenarios. But they also used text-based functional and non-functional requirements and stored these types of requirements somewhere outside the model, typically in doors, Polarian, or PTC integrity but they want to have the textual representation of these requirements in the form displayed at the bottom of the slide. Typically, engineers have user needs stored in a requirements management tool, such as DOORS, then want to be able to import these user needs into the model and refine them into functional and non-functional requirements. After that, users want to be able to trace from these new requirements to the architectural elements and test cases. Using these traces, they want to perform impact analysis. For example, they want to know what parts of the model will be affected if they change a requirement, what architectural elements will be impacted, and what test cases will need to be updated. The new Cameo Requirements Modeler plugin now supports this workflow. Cameo Requirements Modeler combines two features. First, we created a new plugin using the SysML requirements specification. Second, we added support for the OMG REC IF format for requirements interchange. Using the REC IF makes any requirements management product which supports the REC IF standard interoperable with Magic Draw. The Cameo Requirements Modeler plugin, or requirements plugin, provides substantial added value. It's now easier than ever to start and develop a requirements project. Requirements plugin easily identifies the impact of changes to requirements and model elements. We now support requirements management in all model types, not just SysML. Requirements plugin will automatically identify coverage gaps in your relation maps. Requirements plugin has significantly improved the custom metrics and provides predefined coverage tables for requirements to design, 
and for requirements to test cases. The requirements plugin adds a new web portal specifically designed for participants who do not know Magic Drop. It is very easy to start working with the Cameo Requirements Model or plugin. After installing the plugin, select File, New, and choose the Requirements Project template. This will create a new project with a predefined package structure and a set of diagrams. All you need to do is follow the predefined process starting with the glossaries. I'll talk more about glossaries later. Create business requirements and trace them to glossary terms or import requirements from external requirements products. Refine the business requirements into functional and non-functional requirements. Continue the process of refinement by adding use cases, activity diagrams, and class diagrams. The requirements project template provides the initial diagram, so all you need to do is complete the element descriptions and add your own elements. The requirements project template also provides traceability diagrams. So while editing requirements and adding or changing relationships, the project automatically updates the traceability matrices and relation maps. The requirements project template also adds samples showing the best practices for using this plugin for software engineers and systems engineers. Change management is critical to every project. Cameo Requirements Modeler provides a comprehensive mapping of relationships from high-level requirements to functional and non-functional requirements to use cases, activities, and classes. The Requirements Project template includes the predefined relationship diagram shown here, including a legend and color-coded relationships to easily trace the development of the model. Model traceability is also visible in matrices. For example, a matrix can identify functional requirements that are derived from business requirements. The matrix lists business requirements in the columns and the functional and non-functional requirements in the rows. The intersecting cells contain the refinement relationships. In the same manner, you could trace test cases that verify requirements, use cases that refine requirements, and so on. The matrices also support creating and deleting relationships. Just double-click a cell and choose to create or delete a link. A simple drop-down allows you to filter the matrix for empty cells to easily identify missing connections. Magic Draw and Cameo Requirements Modeler plugin provide two mechanisms for seamlessly integrating requirements with your Magic Draw projects. First, Requirements plugin provides a real-time synchronization with IBM Doors and Requisite Pro using Nomagic's DataHub product. DataHub creates and synchronizes the connection between the external tool and your project. Synchronization can be either two-way or one-way. Second, the Requirements plugin supports the exchange of REC IF standard files with the leading requirements tools such as DOORS PTC Integrity and Team Center. In the Magic Draw relationship maps, Requirements plugin automatically identifies and highlights use cases that are not associated with any requirements. The warnings are also shown in the active validation results table. The Cameo Requirements Modeler plugin substantially enhances the creation of custom metrics. The Cameo Requirements Modeler plugin also provides metrics to evaluate requirements coverage by design and coverage by test cases. In the example here, you see 59 requirements. Eight of them are covered by design elements, and six of them are covered by test cases. You can repeat this analysis over time to track how the metrics change and to get a sense of how the project is progressing. The award-winning No Magic designers worked hard to determine what interface would be most useful for users not familiar with Magic Draw or the diagrams used in Magic Draw. The new web portal is the result of that effort. The web portal provides access to requirements, architectures, test cases, and traceability in an easy to use and portable interface. The web portal works like a web page linking to related model elements and details. For those who are not familiar with the diagrams, most information is available in tables instead of diagrams. The web portal is automatically generated from the project, so the web portal remains in sync with the project as changes are made. Several weeks ago, my colleague was at the BMW headquarters. He was given an opportunity to try out the new web portal in a brand new BMW 535. 
And you can see it really works. So now you can review a project anywhere there is an internet connection. The glossary is an entirely new business-focused feature to help synchronize everyday terminology with terms used in your projects. The glossary is a simple table of terms and definitions. The glossary captures business and project terminology. To use the glossary during modeling, create a new model element and start typing one of the glossary element names. Press control space and you'll be offered a list of available terms. After you choose a term, MagicDraw will autocomplete the element name and underline the term. To see the definition of a term within the model, simply hover the mouse over the term. Navigate from the term directly to the glossary entry. You can even drag an entire diagram to the glossary. The glossary will add the names of the individual elements. Version 18 introduces a new approach for managing metrics. Using the new model-based approach, you can model your metrics. You used to have to know Java to build a metric, but now anyone who knows any scripting language can build this new type of metric. The greatest value of this approach is that you can now track metrics over time, so you can repeat the same analyses periodically to track the progress of the project and identify areas that need attention. This new approach provides a simple way to create your own metric tables in any package. Simply right-click on a package and choose Tools, Metrics, New Metric Table. Then choose the metric suites to include in the table. In this example, the new table uses just one metric which describes how many requirements are in this package and how many of these requirements are covered by blocks. The metric table also tracks each execution of the metrics. In this example, the three rows represent three executions of the metrics. This feature supports tracking metrics over time. You can also export the table to Excel. MagicDraw can now validate your metrics using standard constraints, the same type of constraints used in our validation suites. In this example, the validation rule states that the capability coverage percentage must be greater than 50%. When a metric fails this test, MagicDraw will highlight the metric to draw attention to the error. The error is also added to the validation results window. We've made it easy to create your own metric suites using a class called Basic Metric Suite. To create a new suite, simply inherit from this class and introduce your own metrics. Each metric is described using the scripting languages you know best, such as JavaScript, JRuby, and JPython. If you're not familiar with these languages, you can actually use visual means in the same dialogue. In this latest release, we focused on improving aspects of our products in a way that would benefit everybody, not just a specific group, but every type of user. So MagicDraw 18 has improved several user interface elements to make modeling even easier. These enhancements simplify modeling and automate common tasks. MagicDraw 18 has greatly improved automatic path layout, created a new approach to tab browsing that automates navigation between diagrams, enhanced the method for creating diagrams, made substantial improvements to compartment management, shortcut menus, and symbol properties management, enhanced specification dialogues to display inherited properties, added instance tables to manage test data and analysis examples, and created the new document modeling plugin. Please note that in 18.0, this plugin is for preview only. Our target release is in 18.1. The new path layout takes effect when the drawing a new path or reassigning an existing path from one shape to another. MagicDraw will draw the path so that it does not overlap other symbols. This substantially reduces the extra work for users to manually adjust the path layout. We are also working on a path layout enhancement that takes effect after a shape size change. As, as I mentioned though, we have started working on this enhancement it will be added to a future release. In MagicDraw 18, we wanted to improve the user interface by taking advantage of knowledge users already have. That is, tabbed browsing now works very much like internet browsing, reducing the number of open tabs and improving navigation. Specifically, a tab can represent a concept such as a domain model, business architecture, or IT architecture. 
hyperlinking from any diagram in one of these tabs will open the new diagram within the same tab. You can then move between diagrams in the same tab using the back and forward buttons. As in internet browsers, you still have the option to right-click a hyperlink and open the content in a new tab. This method of working with tabs enhances the existing split screen functionality. In earlier versions, you could split the screen to view two diagrams at a time. But if you used a hyperlink in one of the diagrams, Magic Draw would open a new tab. This complicated the comparison process because you then had to manage two sets of tabs to compare aspects of both views. In version 18, hyperlinks open in the same tab making it much easier to synchronize the two views. Use the back and forward buttons to drill down and back up through the two views. This enhancement works particularly well when using multiple monitors. You can view one tab on one screen and another tab on a second screen. You maintain only two views and navigate back and forward through the diagrams in each tab. As in the previous example, the new tab interface makes managing complex models much simpler. Version 18 adds a new way to create diagrams. Some of our products have as many as 50 to 70 different diagrams, making it difficult to find the one diagram you want to create. The new Create Diagram dialog helps you create a new diagram in just seconds. To access the new di Create Diagram dialog, click the Create Diagram button on the main toolbar. The new Create Diagram dialog opens. To create a class diagram, for example, Simply type CD and the dialog immediately goes to the class diagram selection. Choose the location for the diagram, click the Create button. The same method works for all diagrams, providing a very quick way to create any type of diagram. To simplify changes to a diagram shape, we introduced new handles. The existing white minus handle used to hide a compartment has been moved to the middle of the left edge of the compartment. This handle is available for all types of compartments. Each compartment has a label describing its contents. Each compartment has a white plus sign handle on the right side of the compartment. This handle will allow you to create elements specific to that compartment. A new black handle appears at the top right edge of the shape. Clicking it opens a dialog to create new elements. For example, properties, operations, signal reception reports. Even if all compartments are hidden or suppressed, you will be able to create new elements for the shape. Version 18 introduces instance tables. Instance tables help you define test data and examples without needing to diagram them. Now software and systems engineers will be able to enter actual information just like in a spreadsheet. Instance tables simplify the entry of example data during analysis, test data during design, and parametric data during model analysis. As with all other tables in Magic Draw, you can automatically populate the table with existing instances or add instances directly into the table. In past versions, to create constraints and validations, you have to use Java or OCL. In version 18, you can now use common scripting languages such as JavaScript, JPython, JRuby, Groovy, and Beanshell. You can also use these languages to describe derived properties, queries for smart packages, metric definitions, and more. As a preview of new technology, version 18 introduces the new document modeling plugin. It's a technology preview only. It is free and it is designed to model your report template. Before version 18, to describe or write your own report, you had to know the velocity template language and write a custom script. Now with the document modeling plugin, you will not need any programming skills. Now this is a free plugin. It's based on the SysML views and viewpoints constructs. You can give it a try we would enjoy discussing your observations and suggestions. Well, that's it for now. Thank you for watching this video, and be sure to check out our weekly blogs on the No Magic website.